Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Wednesday, July 20th, 2022. Today, the opening arguments in the case of R. Kelly associate Don Russell, charged with phoning in threats to stop the Lifetime TV screening of Surviving R. Kelly. Also, across the river in the EDNY, Christopher Gunn, Dubosky, being arraigned at 11 a.m. We're going to try to cover both of them. Don't ask me how. Behind me, in uh, 40 Foley Square, the building that's directly behind me, uh, the trial, the opening arguments will begin at 9.30. I'm rushing in there as we speak. Now, in another case that we covered, uh, Virgil Griffith, uh, charged with helping North Korea with cryptocurrency, he ended up pleading guilty just before trial and was sentenced to 63 months. Now the government is going after his money in a fidelity account, saying he hasn't paid anything. Meanwhile, a kind of co-defendant added on after his guilty plea, Mr. M, says that he's held in Saudi Arabia. He can't leave, but the government, the government's indicted him, the U.S. government, but it's not asking for his extradition. So he's basically living with MBS. Watch out for the bone saw, is all that I can say. As to Joshua Schulte, who's going to face sentencing for, I believe, more than 63 months, um, <clears throat> read uh, uh, Brutal Kangaroo. It's a book Inner City Press put out the day of the verdict, getting quite a bit of feedback. Go check it out. Uh, the United Nations. Yesterday we published in another exclusive, third in a series, UN Columbia. Everything for sale, for sex, no answer. Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General, he's on annual leave. There's actually quite a few annual leaves. They won't say how many, how much it costs, where he is. Nothing is said about the whole effing thing. We're going to once again go financial, and this time we're going to talk about the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. This was supposed to be, and maybe it is, a great uh, protector of, of consumers. All I can say is that Earlier this week, we submitted a FOIA request to them for complaints that they've closed because people named more than one wrongdoer. This would be the same thing that's it's in the news today, Zell, but there's other things, wire transfers. They came back and said, this is not specific enough, we're going to close your complaint. I did, an, I guess, an appeal, you could call it, um, and asked, how many FOIA requests do you close <laughs> on nonspecific grounds when it was very clear what I'm asking for? Letters closing complaints due to this absurd policy. To be continued.